right, fellas, we put three weeks into this thing here now. All right. This is an emotional game for us here today. All right, this is an opportunity for us to prove something. Okay? And we're going to have to prove it on every play. It's going to be that kind of game. We are not mediocre. There's nothing mediocre about you, about me, about anybody in this operation. But we can only say that. Okay? That's just idle words unless each one of us takes it upon ourselves to put whatever it takes into it to be superior instead of mediocre. And to do that, okay, it's going to have to be one of those like I told you the other day. Okay? You're going out into the cage now, fellas. Okay? And you've got to go in the cage with them and throw away the key. And you've got to stay in that cage okay, until you've done with them what you need to do. Okay? That's what each one of us has got to do in this game. Okay? And it's going to take about three hours to do that. So your resiliency, your intensity, the juice you bring, the toughness, the heart that you have, the will to win will be tested on every play. Just keep reminding yourself individually and collectively of that. And remember what we started back in January, okay, that nothing can stop the power of team. Let's go out in that cage, throw the key away, do to them what we have to get done, and come in here and celebrate the opportunity. Long after you finish playing football, and you find yourself in whatever circumstance it might be, you don't remember, remember anything else from being on this team. Right? Remember how you learned about finding a way to win. Because right? that's what it's all about. And if you'll do that, and you'll always think that, you'll have a tremendous edge on everybody else. Right? That was a tremendous performance on your team. Right? That's a hard team to beat. Okay, they're tough, they're physical defense. You did a fantastic job okay, of bucking up in the face okay, of a terrific challenge. Okay, to be down 21-7 like that. Okay, and to do what you did, okay, whatever the rushing totals are, most of them were accumulated in the first half. Okay, you did a great job at that offense. Okay, you did everything that needed to be done constantly. Answered the bell, gave us what we needed. Okay, a lot of great individual performances out there. Who's mediocre anymore? It just shows what you can do. Okay? When you have a little chip on your shoulder and you feel like you got to prove something all the time. If you got a chip on your shoulder and you feel like you got to prove something and you're always willing to get down and find a way to win, right? you're going to happy a lot more often than the other way around. Okay? You did a tremendous job today. Okay? I'm tremendously proud to be associated with you. Okay, what you represent and what you've done here during the course of the last five months. Okay? Now, the last thing I have to say is easy, because okay? we've had a chance to say it three times before okay? under a terrific set of circumstances. So, we had a little glitch in there, okay? but it's becoming a habit now. Okay? And that is, seconds are ticking down now, fellas, on the life of this team. Okay? Seconds are ticking down. Okay? It makes me feel sad. Because okay, I really come to love this team. When we walk out of this locker room, okay, the team will be different. Okay, some guys will have left the team. Okay, you can't be on the team if you're not playing anymore. Okay, but you're always part of the football family. Okay, and keep on coming back and feel part of that family. That's why I told you about those guys yesterday who called. Matt Schaub, Chris Canty, Chris Slade, Alvin Pierman. Because okay, they feel a part of the family from a distance. Okay? You're always a part of the family, even if you're part of the right? And keep believing that and keep feeling it and come back. And when you're part of the family, you don't have to talk to everybody every day. You just know that they're always there for you. If you ever need anything, come on back. Plus, a couple of other people leaving the football family kind of put their life and their hearts okay, and their blood in it for five hard years. Okay? And that's Danny Rocco and Ron Prince. Same time, okay, let's give a round of appreciation uh, for his efforts in coming back and being a big part of helping us win this game for Mark D'Onofrio. Yeah. Hey, coach, coach, coach the back is coach. Coach the back is coach. I just might do that. Yeah, yeah, hey, coach the back. All right, now look, you guys, you got a little dose of me over there on the sideline. Okay, I'm just going to always press you for what you can give. I'm not going to sell for less than what you can give. Okay? I just got a chance to do that a little bit more today than I usually do. Okay? But I'm on your side. I'm just trying to find the best out of you. 
Okay, if you can put up with me doing that, I just might do it for a while. All right? All right, I appreciate it, fellas. That was fantastic. Be safe on the way home. Anybody who needs me in the, sh in, the, in the coming weeks before you come to school, get in touch with me. Okay, I'll be in and out with recruiting. Okay, but if you need me, I'll be in town where you can see me. I'll make it a point. Because right now, you're part of the family. All those guys out there, they're not. They're just hoping, hoping to be lucky enough to be part of this family. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey,